Hi everyone, in this video I'll be teaching you how to do the final settlement in web page tracks. For that, we need to navigate to the personal module. In the personal module, we need to select the topic final settlement. Here to select the employee, we can either type the employee name or employee ID or else we can use this option button to select the employee from the drop down. To select the employee, double click on the employee and click on end of contract. First, we have to enter the settlement date and last working date. Based on the last working date, the employee's service days are calculated. So select accordingly using the calendar button. Once the date is selected, we need to select the action taken, whether it is resigned or terminated accordingly. Once selected, for record purpose, we can select rehire or not. As here I am using non-electronical approval, it is mandatory for me to select the authorized and approved person manually. If you are using electronical approval, system will do the approval process. So here I am manually selecting the approval, authorizing person and the approval. Once done, if required, I can add the remarks. Also, if, if any physical document needs to be uploaded, we can use this upload button and select the document and upload. Once done, click on the save button. Now the final settlement document is created and the first page will be auto opened. Here the system shows the leave balances. If these leave balances need to be paid, just click on save and the approved flag will be turned on. If there is any changes need to be done in this approved leaves, we can customize it. So click on the save button over here and the system is giving us another pop-up that do you want to approve the request. By clicking on OK, you are approving this request or you will be paying this leave balances. A successful message will be popped up. Click on close and system will take us to the next page. Here we need to enter the miscellaneous allowances or directions. Any kind of allowances or directions need to be entered. This is the page. For that, we need to select the payment type. If it is a deduction, select the deduction and this deduction code. Here I'm selecting final settlement and I'm putting an amount of 200. Now, if you need to add more, click on the add row and do the same process. Or else, click on save to save the record and click on close to move to the next page. Here the system opens the settlement summary where the system needs to calculate the amount. For that, system has segregated into multiple components. So each components have been displayed out here. So if any of them need to be not selected, we can untick them here so that we can ask the system not to calculate this. If not, just click on save and let the system calculate the amount for us. Once successful, click on OK and the system displays the amounts as per our date selections. Okay. Once done, click on close and move to the last page that is the settlement details here the system shows the period worked and all the amounts accordingly need to be paid or deducted so if any narrations need to be changed here we can change it manually if any adjustment need to be done on the payment amounts those can be also edited if any editing is done system will mark it as a manual fed over here so if everything is okay we can just click on save and close. Once the employee exits the company, then we can click on this final check down so that nobody will be doing any changes on this record. Once the final check is done, there is no more option to edit the record. For the time being, I'm just closing it. Once done, if required, we can take the final settlement print which gives us the 
all the related employee related details. The complete employee related details and the payments will be displayed out in the same print. Also, the signatories have been displayed over here. So, this was regarding the final settlement in web page rights. Thank you. Thank you.